What's up, everybody? Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. Check out the new Porpoise Pod this week. Myself uh, and Alejandro Solana talking all things Dolphins. You guys can go watch it also at the WQAM YouTube page, as you can with the Tobin and Leroy Show, which will be back Tuesday through Friday this week from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Check that on out. Go subscribe. Uh, would be really appreciated. So only fang, only fangs officially open for business. Vic Fangio getting introduced on Monday as the Dolphins defensive coordinator. A lot of fascinating stuff that came out from this old fangs. You know, I think that there was a, the, first of all, interesting that, you know, you're kind of bringing them aboard and Vic Fangio was basically like, I don't really know Mike McDaniel. No, no real relationship there. So I, I thought that was an interesting thing because I feel like the impression we got from a lot of the reports early on was there was some type of uh, relationship there. There was some, you know, mutual respect. And maybe there was professional respect, but there wasn't really a personal in there, which I found a little surprising because there was a lot of talks that, oh, you know, Vic, they, he could have had the job last year and. You know, maybe that was the case. I don't know, but it sounds like uh, the uh, any closeness with Mike McDaniel was not the reason. It was just that you know, look this, and and honestly, from a from a standpoint, it's almost better because you're looking at it as oh, he's he's coming in for the respect of the job. Like he doesn't have this close tight knit relationship with Mike as he may have with like a let's say a Sean Payton, and. He decided, nah, I'm going to come down to Miami and make things happen. And, uh, you know, fascinating to hear from him. We talked uh, a little bit about this after uh, the interview that he did with uh, the Dolphins website. But he talked a little bit more in depth about what he did this past year with his little traveling show on the road and uh, getting things done from that standpoint of bringing his uh, his little kit, his little studying kit and uh, and getting all that done. Um where he just, you know, had the whole setup. He's watching a few hours of film a day. He's got some new wrinkles that he wants to add to the to the uh, to the whole system, which is very very exciting. That he's uh, he's got some new things that he's trying to try out. Yeah, there's a few things that uh, that uh, I came up with that I'm anxious to try. You know, we'll try him in OTAs at some point and in training camp, and you know, as a good fit for the other things we do. But what's going to be most important is tailoring what we do to our players and to the opponent that we're playing for that week. So, you know, there may be things that we did at previous stops that we won't do much here because it doesn't fit our players and vice versa. You know, we might do something a lot that we didn't do other places because it's a better fit for our players. So, and sometimes it's it's a better – you might think it would be great to do something because it fits a certain player really good, but you really have to think about how it fits all 11 and what's the best way to stop somebody from scoring too many points. Yeah, like that was a, that was a thing to see. Like it was with Vic Fangio uh, talking about, you know, what is his philosophy, what is his, you know, scheme, what's he going to be doing a lot of. And he's, you know, I, I thought made – a, a big time impression that he's not going to force a, uh, a a certain thing upon anybody that they're going to see with the talent that they got, which he raved about a lot between Javon Holland and JP and Bradley Chubb and all these guys uh, seems to be excited about the 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 crop of talent that he's got. Christian Wilkins uh, always keeping an eye on him. Uh, he won some academic award by some old guy I've never heard of. So he, you know, he's like, I've always kept tabs on Christian Wilkins. I'm like, all right, well, wonderful, fantastic. And uh, he was this. This was great because I thought there was just so many things that were just like Vic Fangio. Just is too. Uh, he he's just had, got too much experience to give a rat's ass about like trying to give uh, good quotes. And uh, he was asked about like his coaching style. He goes, ah, I don't do buzzwords. Not, not a buzzword, if that's what you're looking for. Um, you know, we're in charge of not letting the other team score. And we will do anything and everything to do that. You know, I've been places in the past where we pressured a lot. I've been places where we didn't pressure very much. You know, you got to fit the scheme to the players that you have while also factoring in the opponents that you're playing. So... Hopefully we'll be a team that will keep the points down, um, make it hard for teams to score a lot of points, 
and put our offense in position to score points for us. So, you know, I, I'm not a buzzword guy as far as that goes, other than we want to play good defense. And what's good defense? Keep them out of the end zone. This is oh, that's a, oh, that's a, that's just gruff coaching right there. You guys actually didn't see this if you guys didn't see the press conference, but he was actually doing this while chewing glass. That's how Fangs was going about this. That he actually had a he had a, a a bowl of oatmeal up there, but in the oatmeal was glass, and so he was having just a nice meal, but glass chewing at the same time because he doesn't use buzzwords. Although I, we will come up with a lot of buzzwords. I mean, we've already come up with only Fangs and Fangs up. So we will find we will find buzzwords. Don't you worry about that, Fangio. Anytime you need uh, a little bit of marketing, you come to Old Toes. We'll figure some things out and uh, and get it and get it going. He also this was pretty cool. The Dolphins also hired away Chargers defense coordinator Ronaldo Hill, so he's coming on board to be back with Fangs as a secondary and passing game coordinator, former Dolphin. So uh, that's pretty cool. The uh, the Dolphins are already poaching people and like letting you know, hey. Come on over here. We'll give you a little bit of a situation. Um, and like, you know, Brandon Staley's kind of the, the man over there in, in, in L.A. as it is. Plus, you get away from that, uh, that, that, that fraud, Justin Herbert. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that, you know, not that he was coaching him, but he's like, yeah, good. I can get out of here, you know. And this, uh, this quack Brandon Staley and what he's up to. So you got multiple things that you could uh, you, you, that that's got to be exciting him about that. Um, but you know, as far as what he could do, crafting the young guys and Javon Holland, what he could do when crafting the young guys like Bradley Chubb, that was the exciting thing. And I think especially unlocking Chubb because, you know, you gave a big asset for him. You, um, you went out there and not only gave a big asset for him, but like things dealt with, uh, you know, had a couple of things where he was banged up. And just didn't seem like he fit in right away with uh, with the uh, with the scheme and all that type of stuff. Like, didn't feel like he said he 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 fit in right away as far as like making that I guess immediate wrecking crew impact. But I do feel like that his arrival did have some kind of impact on making things better. But he says, uh, you know, he that that you know when asked about the 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 plans of unlocking him, you know, uh, loves what the guy brings to the table. Well, the three years, you know, Bradley and I talked about this the other day when he was in here. Um, the three years I was with him in Denver, he was the victim of some, you know, some injuries. You know, he, I, I believe he got hurt in the fourth game the first year I was there and was out for the season. Came back the second year. And it took him about four or five games to get into a groove coming off the injury, and then he had a good season that year. And then he really basically missed, it doesn't say it statistically, but – he missed most of my last year there because he had an ankle injury that kept him out. And when he came back, he wasn't himself, you know, still recovering from the, he had two ankle injuries. So I'm anxious to get him rolling, keep him healthy and see the Bradley Chubb that we all know he's capable of being. I mean, that gives me the goosies right there, dude. Tells me that the league is in trouble. That's what I'm telling you is that this guy's guy, he's like, Oh, we're going to get this guy unlocked. We're going to do things with Bradley Chubb. Honestly, though, my favorite part of the entire press conference with Vic Fangio getting introduced by far wasn't even close was when he was asked about if the Dolphins can be a Super Bowl caliber or defense. And this just seemed to rub Vic Fangio in the wrongest of ways. He was just like, Ur. like you could just you, you could just hear old gruff coach immediately come to the forefront. And it made me so happy. How close is this defense to being Super Bowl caliber? Oh, I don't know. Uh, can I? Can we get one practice on the field? With <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I love Chris Perkins too, man. Like that's my guy, Perk. And it's like, uh, you know, what do you? How how long before we get this thing to Super Bowl caliber? Look, ball. Put 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 your put your balls on the table there, Vic. What 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 are the what do we got here? And he's ah, gee, oh, geez, can we get one practice in? I love that. I love both of it. I love the question and I love the answer. Like some people are gonna sit here, they'd be like, "Oh, what kind of a question is that, bro?" Nah, it's a good question. It's a fair question. You're bringing in this uh, this defensive guru. Let's talk expectations. But I also love the fact that that gruff Vic Vangio, who is uh, out here and and has all the the defensive knowledge known to man, is like. Ah, rah, rah. Like that, he 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 gets all gonna get one practicing makes me happy. All of that stuff makes me. Sometimes, 
Sometimes in a, in a press conference, you have a win-win situation. Great question. Great answer. Great non-answer. You know, like, oh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Can I, uh, can I get, can I get, uh, you know, some, some help around here? Also funny that Vic Fangio also learned in that house hunting in South Florida, pain in the ass, you know, look, you can cover all the, the defenses that you want, Vic, but trying to, uh, cover and trying to find a nice place to live here can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So best of luck to the, uh, to, to Fangio, to Fangs out there hunting, but it was a, uh, you know, it was it wasn't like the most dazzling opening press conference in the world because he's Vic Fangio. He's got time, he doesn't have time for this, as you can hear by the end of it. Not that it wasn't long. I think he went on for like twenty plus minutes, so he answered everything. But anything that was like that, da- any any uh, media fodder that you would think Vic Fangio is going to give you, nah. You know, oh, you, you think I'm going to get it? Even like with you know, people were like, "Oh, I love his answer about blitzing." You know, he's like, "Oh, blitzing." What, what, what's your philosophy of blitzing? But you know, with Josh Boyer, it was like eh, obvious. Like that's what his blitzing philosophy was: is all the time and obvious. And Vic Fangio is telling you, you know, do it when you need it, as need it, and when I want to, <laughs> versus having to. You know, if you have to. That's not a great feeling. You know, you want to do it when you want to on your terms. Now, having said that, I can't tell you what that means from a percentage standpoint. There you go. He's not promising anything. That's the thing. You're not going to box Vic Fangio in. All right. Too many, uh, too many years in the game to be, uh, to be pegged as something and just going to be uh, labeled this way, that way. He, you know, he, he's going to get his, his pieces together and he's going to decide what's what, but, um, welcome to, uh, welcome to Miami fangs. It was a hell of an introduction.